Hi, and welcome back to the Cross Training Women Weekly Live. I'm Allie, Christian health and fitness coach and the founder of Cross Training Women, where I help women transform their body and health biblically so that they can live fully and abundantly and carry out their God-given purpose. As you join, please say hello. And today I'm gonna to be talking about the surprising reason your knees hurt when you squat. So let me know in the comments if you experience knee pain when you squat. This is one of the most common problems people experience when working out. And for this reason, a lot of people think that squats are just bad for your knees and you shouldn't do them. But a squat is a fundamental movement pattern. You squat every single day. Every time you get up and down from a chair, from the toilet, from the car, you are performing a squat. And so for that reason, everyone should work on developing and mastering the squat pattern. One of my favorite lines I've heard a well-known physical therapist say is, squats don't hurt your knees the way you squat hurts your knees. When you squat, you should be pain-free. Squats are not bad for your knees when done correctly. And what might surprise you is if you have knee pain during a squat, your knee is likely not the culprit, it's the victim. It's the victim of your foot ankle complex and or your hips. It's not an issue with your knee, it's an issue with the joints below and above your knees and your, your knee is just caught in the middle of it, which I know is surprising for most people. We tend to think if we have knee pain, then something is wrong with my knee, but really your knee is likely not the source of the pain. It, it has to do with one or both of the joints below and above the knee, because in order to squat properly, you have to have good mobility and stability in your ankles and hips. If your ankles are not mobile, you don't have enough dorsiflexion, it just throws everything up the kinetic chain out of whack and affects your ability to squat co with correct form. What happens is your knees will try to make up for that lack of mobility and they will come too far forward or collapse inward, which just places a lot of stress on your knee joint. And likewise with your hips, if your hips are immobile or they lack strength, especially in your glutes, it can prevent you from it can prevent your knee from tracking correctly over your toes and instead your knees will collapse inward they'll cave in causing knee pain so if your knees hurt when you squat what i recommend you do first is you test your ankle mobility you'd be surprised how many people lack sufficient ankle mobility so i would start there first and if you find you don't have sufficient ankle mobility then you'll want to address that first in order to fix your knee pain when you squat but if you do have good ankle mobility, then next you're gonna to wanna to take a look at your hip, hip mobility. With all of the sitting that we do these days, many people have stiff hips and they lack the ability to fully extend their hips and turn on their glutes, which leads to a more quad dominant squat rather than using their glutes and hamstrings. And so it just puts a lot of stress on the knees. So you'll wanna take a look at your hip mobility and hip extension. And then you'll also wanna take a look at your hip strength and stability, specifically your hip abductors, which includes your glute minimus and your glute uh, medius. Because like I said, if you lack strength and stability there, it causes your knee to collapse inward when you squat. And your knees, they don't track properly over your toes, which will cause knee pain. So. If you find you have any hip mobility restrictions or weakness, then you'll want to work on those issues. And once you do, you'll be you'll put yourself in a position to be able to squat properly. And when you have good technique with your squat, then your knee pain should just go away. And in doing so, you'll also be saving yourself from an actual knee injury down the road. So you'll want to do that as soon as possible. So I know many of you are probably wondering or are gonna ask about how to go about testing ankle and hip mobility and strength and how to address those issues and, and fix them. And so uh, I'm gonna work on putting together a guide for you this week, demonstrating how to test and address those issues. So if you're interested, let me know in the comments so that that way when I complete it, I can make sure to send that over to you. But let me know if you have any questions, if you fix and address those issues and your knee still hurts, then clearly there's something else going on and improving your ankle and hip mobility and strength isn't gonna solve that problem. So you'll, you'll wanna get that checked out by a doctor. And in the meantime, don't squat or perform exercises that cause pain. Yesterday I posted on social media to never train through pain, always train around pain. So if you keep performing an exercise that hurts, it's not gonna get better. It's, the issue is only gonna get worse. So choose exercises that you can do pain free while you solve the problem with your knee pain. And again, if you want the guide to testing and addressing knee pain when you squat, be sure to comment below. 
Um, so that, that way I can send it to you. But thanks so much for tuning in today. I will see you guys back here next week, uh, Tuesday at 12 p.m. Central Time. Bye.